You'll need to gather the following items for this activity. Two plane or flat mirrors, as well as one convex and one concave mirror, a sheet of paper and a pen, a small object, such as a Lego man, and some duct tape or sellotape. To start, hold one of the flat mirrors in front of you. What do you see? If you close your left eye, which eye looks closed in the mirror? Why do you think this is the case? Now, place some tape on the back of the two flat mirrors so that you can open and close them like a door. When you are ready, stand the mirrors up. Place a small object like a Lego man in front of the mirrors. What do you see? What happens to the number of objects you see when you make the angle between the two mirrors greater or smaller? Next, separate the mirrors and put them facing each other with the object in the middle. What can you see now? Now we're going to look at concave mirrors. These are mirrors that bulge in at the middle. Hold the concave mirror close to your face. What can you see? Does your reflection look the same as it does with the flat mirror? Now hold the concave mirror far away from you. What happens to your reflection now? What can you see when you look at things that are even further away, like a tree outside the window? Concave mirrors can be used to collect light. To see this, hold the mirror near a light source or in sunlight and reflect the light onto a sheet of paper. Remember, if you are using sunlight, make sure you never look directly at the sun. Move the paper until the reflected light becomes a small spot. Can you measure how far the sheet of paper is from the mirror when the spot of light is at its smallest? If concave mirrors bulge in, can you guess what convex ones do? That's right. Convex mirrors bulge out in the middle. Hold the convex mirror close to your face. What does your reflection look like? How is it different from the other mirrors? What happens when you move the convex mirror away from your face? For the final investigation, tape the two flat mirrors together again at the back. Now draw a line across a sheet of paper and stand the mirrors just behind the line. Can you change the angle of the mirrors to turn the reflection of the line into different shapes? What kind of shapes can you make? You could also use a protractor to record the angles that are required to make the shapes. Look at the activity sheet for further information about this investigation.